Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters. I have a powerful word for you. This is a word to help you out in what you are going through. Some of you are confused right now. You don't know what to do. You are stranded. You are stagnant. Whatever you have been trying to do is not working out. Some of you are in a position where actually you need help. You really need help. But I want to encourage you that the scripture says that God is your present help in times of need. Your family may not run to you, your rescue. Those that you think can help you may not even help you. But God himself is your present help. Why? Because he dwells in you. Doesn't the scripture say that you are the temple of, the, of God? You are the temple of the Holy Spirit? He dwells within you. He is your present help. You, if you want help from your friends, sometimes you have to call them. But with God, you just speak and he comes and he does the thing. Or you just speak a word and it's done. Because God has given you the power and authority. It has been given to you. My brothers and sisters, today's word is someone they sent you is about to groan in pain and cry so hard. They sent someone to you, my brothers and sisters. But that person is going to realize that you are bigger than their assignment. A lot of people do not know that your enemies have an assignment over you. They have an assignment to kill, steal, <coughs> and destroy. They have an assignment to cause confusion. That's why you see some of you feel confused. That confusion does not come from God. God is not the author of confusion. That confusion comes from the enemy. The enemy wants you to get scattered. That pain that you experience, it is not from God, brother. It is not from God, sister. It is right from the enemy. So my brothers and sisters, whatever they do, it is not going to work. The pain that they are going to face, it is going to be unbearable. You are too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. They wanted to steal what belongs to you, only to realize <laughs> that you have an encryption. <laughs> You have a strong password on your life. You have Jesus in you. You have Jesus in you. And they cannot take what belongs to you if God is within you. I love the scripture that says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. When you run to the name of the Lord, you are going to be safe. Safe from counterfeit people. Safe from haters. Safe from narcissists. You are going to be safe from manipulators. Some of you, you have faced a lot of manipulation. In your relationships, your previous relationship, it has been a manipulative relationship. Actually, some of you, you have just gone through an abusive relationship. An abusive relationship. Some of you, you went through a lot of things. Molestation. But I pray for you that God heals you. I pray for you that God renews you. That God restores you back to your rightful place. My brothers and sisters, whoever has been sent to destroy your life, they will go back with a testimony. And the testimony will be like, you are too powerful for them. Some of them will not make it on their way back home. Or on their way to destroy your life. They will not make it. Because God has been there for you. God has always been there for you. And he will always be there, he will always be there for you. I will give you an example of um, Egypt. Where... Egypt was so rebellious against the children of God. 
They did not want to let the children of God go. They had kept the Israelites in bondage. And God sent pestilences to attack them. Their firstborn male children perished. They had all sorts of calamities. Disaster in their camp. While the children of Israel were flourishing, the Egyptians were dying. Remember the children of Israel were in the same land with the Egyptians. But there was a way where the evil men were selected to die and the righteous lived. Brothers and sisters, the enemy and his friends are not going to make it. There will be so much pain, whether it's emotional, physical pain, it will be present in their camp to one extent that they will no longer pursue you. Whatever they have been trying to do, they will abandon their activities. This is a word for someone who is watching me right now. Now, my brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this word. Remember to leave your comment in the comment section. It is very important because there are people who read your comments. I also read your comments and they are encouraged. Some of the, sometimes I'm encouraged by your testimonies. You don't know. Also, uh, send me an email address. Send me a message through my email address. For those that don't know about my email address, it is in the about section of this channel. In the about section, you can find also my paper for those that want to be a blessing to this ministry. And God will bless you. God will increase in you. Remember, uh, it is more blessed to give than to receive. The more you give, the more you are blessed. And giving is just not about money. You can give your time to someone. Yeah. You can encourage someone. My brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.